the 16th of May 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rathina Sudian. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. We start from Kamuli District. Nababiri and Nangobi, a widow looking after seven children, were a shock of her life when her 14 year old daughter added three to make the total number of children under her care 10. Her primary six people at Nawandu Primary School in Bugulumbia subcounty in Kamuli District, Fiona Namgaya for teen years, delivered the triplets in Kamuli Mission Hospital on a Sunday. Babidia says she has struggled with her daughter since she got pregnant, adding that the boy who made her pregnant took off. She says she has to wait for May's to mature so that she sells and gets some money. Her daughter remembers the father of the triplets by only one name, Joshua. She says he worked at the farm of the neighbor and lured her as she returned from school. She says although the case was reported to police, the culprit has never been located. News coming in from Padel District, a civilian and two UPDF soldiers went to a school in Padel and forced the school head to give them money, claiming they were part of the State House anti-corruption unit. Now, however, they ran out of luck when they were suspected to be extortionists and arrested. Their teacher at St. Catherine Girls School, Rosie Nagwala, had handed over the money. Now the trio were arraigned before the UPDF 5th Division Court Marshal, sitting at the 5th Division Headquarters in a Choli Pie on Tuesday. They are facing charges of impersonation in the court shared by Colonel Sam Omara. You are watching the news around Uganda. Let us take a break and look at what is making the headlines in today's copy of The New Vision. For those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. And those with smartphones, go to your Play Store, download the Vision Group e-paper app and access all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let us continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. We go to Kavalori District, where the State Minister for Primary Education, Rosemary Seninde, has asked district education officials not to allow schools carry on holiday teaching while addressing district and municipal education officers in Uganda at Chebambi Girls School in Fort Porto on Tuesday. And in the state, many education officers ignore circulars issued by the ministry in regard to substandard schools and following the guidelines. She also asked the education officers to ensure that schools don't cheat examinations and warned that all district education officials whose schools cheat exams risk being disciplined. She said many schools close two weeks before the official closure of the term and open alley and they charge fees for holiday teaching saying education officers should work closely with district police commanders to ensure it stops. Let's close off the bulletin from Gulu District where over 100 people started their journey to Namgongo in Wakiso District ahead of Uganda Matters Day celebrations on June 3rd. Father Dr. Lawrence Komaketch, the parish priest of St. Joseph's Cathedral in Gulu, is leading the group for the 330-kilometer journey. The Archdiocese of Gulu was chosen by the Uganda Episcopal Conference to animate the 2000 the 2019 Uganda Matters the celebrations. According to the Gulu Archbishop John Baptist Odama, the diocese seeks 900 million shillings to fund the preparations. He says the money is needed to fund activities for successful preparation, including liturgical activities, health readiness, accommodation and transport communication, and publicity, among others.
That is the news around Uganda today. Remember, you can get more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is the New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth, the voice.